Hey guys, how you doing? This is Travis P11. I'd like to welcome you back to the channel. Well guys, we're going to go ahead and take the Glock 43 out to the range for a little range test, accuracy test, just to see how well it performs. Um, this Glock, Glock 43 is on loan to me from Stan, the owner of SS Pond in Lexington, Nebraska. Um, this firearm is part of Stan's private collection and SS Pond does support the channel. So guys, why don't you go ahead and give SS Pond a call and they will take care of all of your firearms needs. Now again, we're just going to be shooting a stock Glock 43 at four different distances. We're just going to go 5, 10, 15, and 20 yards just to see what kind of accuracy you can expect out of the box. Now I have not fired this gun for over a year. I did not have good luck with it. Um, I have since taken two defensive pistol training courses. I feel a lot more confident with my ability to operate a handgun now after taking those classes and after many, many range trips. And uh, we're just going to see how well it can perform. Uh, we're also going to shoot a little bit of steel on the side. Now, uh, as for ammunition, we'll be shooting uh, just 115 grain full metal jacket, Federal Brass Ammunition, just picked it up at Walmart, it's about 10 bucks a box. I also have some Remington UMC 9mm I'm going to take with me too. The problem is, is that UMC has been performing really poorly, I don't want to make it my primary ammunition for this pistol, so if you see any jamming or any hiccups or any problems with the gun, say especially when we're shooting the steel targets, we're probably going to be shooting the Remington UMC ammo by that point. And for some reason, it just does not run well through my SD9VE. Um, I've had some problems with it running it through my car CT9. I don't know if I got a bad batch, bad powder. I store it, you know, in, in ammo crates with little silica gel packs to keep it dry. Just not, just have not had good luck with this. So <clears throat> anyway, guys, let's go ahead and head out to that range and let's get started. All right, here we go. So here's a little uh, bonus footage real quick. These were my first 12 or 18 shots that I took at five yards. Um, I was, I noticed my first couple shots were left. I was aiming dead center, so I aimed a little bit off to the right, and that started to bring my shots back a little bit. This is kind of some preliminary shooting I did. Second target, I backed up a little bit. Nice tight group, still off to the left a little bit. Uh, I was aiming here to hit there. All right, so now let's actually take a look at the target itself and just kind of talk about what happened. So. Uh, I went back and reviewed it, and uh, looking at the footage, you know, we got a nice tight group here that we pulled off. Uh, I'll have to go and s specifically see if any of these were just like, just shots I happened to pull at the last second, but, you know, where the group was moving to the left as I was moving back. Uh, it is just a slightly challenging pistol to shoot, but it's not bad at all. I mean, this is, I'm happy with this at 10, 15 yards. This would be more than uh, adequate for... Uh, some self-defense shooting, but I do believe that maybe the rear sight needs to be adjusted a little bit And I'm not gonna mess with it. It's not my gun But just to show you straight out of the box no adjustments average shooter such as my uh, such as myself 5 10 15 20 yards. This is what I pulled off Regular ball ammo federal nothing fancy uh, when I started backing up You know it was getting a little hard to see the center of the target because we're talking 20 yards away But uh, no, I'm very happy with uh, just out of the box accuracy way better than I shot it the first time I brought it out In fact the first time I brought it out. I shot it so poorly. I didn't even film it I mean I deleted the film. It was awful, but anyway, I'm much happier with this now So let's go shoot some steel targets
right guys, welcome back. We had a great time shooting today. We shot some steel, we shot some paper. Overall, the Glock 43 performed really well. Had no problems whatsoever. We fed, fed a Lambo through it primarily, and then about halfway through the steel testing, we went ahead and switched over to the uh, Remington UMC. Solid performer, no problems. I shot it way better than I did the first time when I took it to the range a year ago. I'm still not perfect with it. You know, it still pulls, might need a minor sight adjustment, and I did miss from time to time on the steel, but overall, I was very happy with the performance. So standard SS Pond, thank you so much for loaning me this pistol. I'll be bringing you guys a tabletop review of this handgun soon, so stay tuned for that. But in the meantime, guys, we got a lot more content coming your way. Make sure you subscribe to uh, the channel, as well as you can check me out on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and I'm on Caliber Corner on Saturday mornings at 8 a.m. on GunChannels.com. It's a live podcast that we do. We have a great time, different topic every week. Do make sure you check it out. So, guys, from the Rob Jeffrey Firing Range, south of Lexington, Nebraska, I want to thank you for joining me today. I want you to have fun. I want you to be safe, and as you know, we will talk to you soon. All right, guys, take care. Bye-bye.